Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So, what's up in Japan? Big news today. As many of you probably know, the anime film Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale is about to be released on March 9th, 2017. So, the film technically hasn't been officially aired yet, but in Malaysia slash Singapore, there was a fan screening of the movie that happened just last week on February 18th. And it just so happened that during the fan screening, one person decided to record clips of the movie, about 8 to 10 minutes of the film, and distributed it online. After Odex found out, Odex is an anime licensor that releases anime, and in this case, the SAO movie, for the Southeast Asian countries, but more on them later. So after they found out, they immediately posted a letter on their Facebook that detailed the situation at hand, and also the repercussions that would entail this leak. Direct quote, the irresponsible actions of the minority who carried out the unauthorized recording drew flack from Japanese licensors because this is a serious infringement of copyright, resulting in the very likelihood of Singapore and Malaysia being blacklisted for future anime release. End quote. Wow, so basically the entire country is going to get blacklisted because one guy or girl decided to upload a clip of the movie onto the internet. For some reason, I feel like this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Not that I condone piracy, but it seems a little silly to blacklist the entire country, two in this case, for the action of one person. I mean, can you imagine if that happened to Hollywood movies? Every country on this planet would probably have been blacklisted by now. We all know Japan takes copyright infringement very seriously, but this seems like it's on a whole different level. This whole situation looked a little excessive, so I looked into this a bit more, and it seems like Odex has a history with piracy. In 2007, Odex actually took legal action against ISPs, which are internet service providers, on people who had downloaded anime through BitTorrent. They initially tracked the IP addresses without consent and eventually sought subpoenas to get the ISPs to disclose the personal details of these subscribers that were downloading anime through BitTorrent. Odex eventually got their way and sent letters demanding payment, about 2,000 to 4,000 US each, from many individuals. There was a huge backlash from the community as it was discovered that the youngest person that was sent one of these letters were actually 9 years old. After the huge community response both locally and internationally, Odex decided to drop its pay or be sued letter and instead sent out cease and desist emails to the downloaders. So this whole thing with this SAO movie, it's definitely not their first time dealing with piracy. I highly doubt they will actually end up blacklisting an entire country for all future anime film releases as that is most likely more financially damaging and they are a business after all that relies on the Singaporean and Malaysian market. This response from Odex is probably to spark up the conversation in the community to remind people to take piracy seriously as it has very real consequences on both parties. The end of the letter reminds people to help circulate this information amongst your friends so that everyone can help stop unauthorized recording in cinemas. This will definitely make it harder for people to record in public theaters if everyone around you knows that the person recording can mess it up for the entire country's future releases. So good move on Odex this time around, I think. But I am curious as to what you guys think of this whole blacklisting Malaysia and Singapore situation. So as usual, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And make sure you're subscribed so you can get the latest things people are talking about in Japan right in your inbox. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.